So another collab thing that me and Jeremy, uh, JMP Saves Cars, that's his YouTube handle. Yeah, name's also Jeremy. His name's Jeremy. And uh, we're old buddies, but we do some projects together anyways, not including YouTube stuff, but um, and here is an engine that we put together for a customer of his that's got a C4, what is this? 89. 89 C4 Corvette road race car. But well, we'll should kind of give you a tour on this engine and show you some of the stuff we got going in it. I mean, it's pretty much mostly together now anyway. But I mean, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's a six liter iron block, LQ4 block. It's got dome pistons, Wiseco pistons. Yeah. K1 crank. Uh, pull that pin out. I'll show you. It's got a uh, ported GM. You know, those ports are pretty nasty on these things. And if you look down this intake runner here, ported GM LS3 heads. It's a pretty nasty little motor. And uh, it's going to stay in there if you roll it. Yeah, you get two in there. It's got, you know, K1, K1 crank, K1 rods. It's, it ends up being like a, what, 370? I think it's 370 cubic yeah, inch, 30 it's, over 6 liter. It's like, what, what do we end up with compression ratio? Uh, 11 and a half or more, 12? 12, 12.2. 12, 12.2 12, two compression. We, I think we skimmed the heads. Yeah. Like 30 or something. Yeah, 59,000 head gaskets. So we got, what do we got going on here? We had some issues with the shaft, shaft rockers. Let me go with that. Look at that issue. These, uh, let's see, we got a little bit. This is the oil pan we're gonna use and baffled. Trap door. It's like road, a double sump almost. Road race pan kind of thing. Pretty nice piece. Yep. And, um, so it's got shaft mounted rockers, comps. And we kind of, uh, we ran this thing before, we're just freshening it up. And, um, and we had issues with these bushings in these things so we're gonna oil feed them because they have they have the ability to be oil fed on the ends pressurized oil through there so we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that because they definitely need to be oil fed I would say what do you think? yeah yeah we use some banjo bolts and come up through the valve cover right and connect the oil lines to them really trick oil pump these things road race wise they do they do not like wet sumps if you have any serious grip which this car's got a lot of it's got pretty big rubber all around on the thing they're turning a lot of a lot of rpm a lot of rpm and a lot of g-force so this is a boundary racing pump and it's the only oil pump I've ever seen that comes with a conformance report. Yeah, right. Signed with all the tolerances. That's who I'm coming after if it don't work. Yeah. That doesn't look like a real signature. No, it looks real. Yeah, there's a little bleed through right there. We can say that's a real signature. Certified. So this has, you see inside of there, the pretty purple color. That's called Martin Ware coating. Uh, you can pick that up in the light. Super slick. Right. Yeah, there. See right there. So all the gears inside of here, they're coated, and then they also do this little cutout down here to relieve um, cavitation. So instead of creating air bubbles, it gives it a space for the oil to have a well to draw from. So it, it continually is getting rid of air instead of making it. 
So, if you want to go fast and make big power and turn corners hard, it just, you got to bolster all the systems in this engine so that it can withstand it. Making power on the dyno is different than making power on the track. Yeah, something on the, the dyno or on the street can live for a long time. And then one, one lap around the track can kill something, you know? Yeah. It's a different world. You're basically running that thing flat out. High RPM, high load. So. Imagine the oil pan is just going like this. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Every time you turn the wheel, the engine's trying to exit the car. So, yeah, I mean, this thing should do pretty well. Maybe we'll have some more stuff on it, but that's kind of just a brief run through on that. You got anything to oh, say? Trick camshaft. Oh, it's got a cool this. camshaft in it. Um, comp cams. No springs required is what it, it's broken down to. It's called the NSR drift cam. It's available for the 4.8, 5.3 liter. If you want to put it in a drift car and just be able to make some power up there, it does that. But when you put that cam into something with good heads, good compression, it, it really, really did well. Yeah. Really, really broad power range. It never actually stopped making power. It's still pulling like crazy at 8,000. But this engine with longer stroke is going to make more torque earlier and not need to go as far to, to make the power. So should have this together in the next, uh, yeah, probably this week at this some week point. Probably, yeah. so. And then I'm going to put it in the car and then... Probably have some videos on that, right? Yeah. And then I might see some at the racetrack maybe. Racetrack, dyno, whatever, we'll see. Yeah. Cool. So, it's another day in the life for two old car builders. Mm. Take it apart, put it together, take it back apart, put it back together, go home, and then repeat that the next day. And eventually, you get one of these built. Mm. Right? Isn't that the sequence? That's the sequence. <laughs> rinse and repeat. Yeah, rinse and repeat. And then turn it up and break it and start rebuild it and yeah. then start all over again. Yeah. So that's it. So now you saw me out in the wild in conjunction with Eric. We've uh, been doing stuff together since high school, but uh, this is how this industry works. It's friends amongst friends and hope you enjoy the content that they're bringing to uh, YouTube and look for more content on my channel. I'm busy lately, but you know what? We all gotta live our real lives. Yeah, maybe we'll get over there and do some stuff with you. Yeah.